Very good morning, my friends. How are you? Hope you guys are doing very well, and welcome on this new weekly market analysis video from Extreme Trader. This is Salah speaking. So I'm very upset and disappointed about what happened yesterday in the premium group. It was really disappointing. Let me show you why. Yesterday we have sent five signals to our premium members, and actually four of the signals have went straight to the take profit number two. That means that yesterday should have been actually one very good day and good profitable ending for the week. But sadly, we had to close all of these signals in loss. So what happened? What happened is simply like this. We have sent the five signals. And at, the, at some moment, actually, at, at some moment yesterday, all of these signals were actually going in loss. At that moment, some members actually sent Angela messages attacking her and insulting her personally and really humiliating her. The messages were, were really so bad. I mean, me as a human being made from flesh and blood cannot take these words. I mean, they are really, they were like crushing her with these words. They just want to take her down. And it was just too much to, to bury. And to end this misery, we had to close the trades in loss just to end the day. And so Angela can take some rest. But however, actually, after closing all these trades in loss, all of the signals went in profit later, except, of course, Euro NZD. For example, uh, the pound AUD was sent uh, the signal to start buying right from this level. And as we can see, the pair has went in actually uh, 35 pips of loss before gonna, before rising again and be in profit. And here hitting take profit number one and keep rising again, hitting take profit number two. NZD, uh, NZD USD, for example, NZD USD. Uh, we have sent the signal to start selling the pair right from this level, as you can see. Look at that. This was a really good signal. And the trade was going in just 7 or 8 pips of loss before it eventually goes deep, deep in the profit. And as we can see, hitting right here, take profit number 1 and continue the fall to hit take profit number 2. That means that the signals actually yesterday was were really very good and profitable signals. But upon the pressure and the insulting messages from some of the members we had to close the trades in loss i mean that opened our eyes that we should really consider in the future to completely suspend uh, or close uh, angela's telegram account this step might actually be very serious because uh, the only way to contact us is going to be uh, our through our support agent and we are not sure if the support agent can take this pressure pressure also or uh, to be the only way or the only channel to contact us but however we are right now really considering uh, closing it because some members still have the uh, the contact details of angela on telegram and we will consider closing it in the future i mean this is the biggest mistake that when when someone's sending the signal and giving you the order to start buying or selling from the certain level if the trade will go in loss which is really normal because the the pair uh, this is how forex works because the pair might actually make some retest level right here, right here make some pullbacks before eventually be in profit but the problem is you are rushing the the profits and therefore you keep sending the messages to the to the sender insulting them telling them i want profit i want money eventually what you are doing is you are just simply adding more pressure and stress on the signal provider and you are just shatter their confidence this is what happened yesterday and i'm very upset about it and i really hope it won't uh, happen again in the end uh, the signals were actually very good signals and they went in the profit but what, what what happened has happened and i really hope in the future we will avoid this so in the end if you wish to join extreme trader forex signals group please contact our support you can find their contact details in the description below this video contact them today and hopefully we will see you there all right so now let's begin with the weekly analysis and of course as usual we will start with the euro usd now the first thing we can notice on the euro usd that the pair actually has made the breakout from the level uh, 1.21108 and there was a good reason for that um on the four hour time frame we can notice that right here we have one two three bearish candles what was the reason for these candles? It was actually this news here that Europe countries told that Pfizer deliveries substantially reduced, meaning Pfizer is not able to deliver the promised amount to Europe countries and also Canada as well. However, that actually helped the pair to break out from the level of uh, 1.21108. But eventually, I think the pair is actually going to continue the fall after retesting the very same level. So we can see right here we are having here a strong support level on 1.20757 
and seems like the pair actually right now testing that support level and it's actually gonna make a pullback retesting the broken support level and in my opinion and because this is gonna be one of the most important weeks in many years i think because of the um mr trump is gonna leave the white house uh, this wednesday and mr joe biden is gonna be the new president of the united states this actually can help the dollar to rise and therefore uh, euro usd itself is going to continue the fall so therefore we can start shorting the euro usd right here once the pair actually make the, the retest of that level of the broken support and we can start shorting the pair all the way aiming the at least that support on 1.19275 that being said we have to wait for the pair to rise for another um, 35 pips before it's going to be valid for the short so euro usd good before the short at the level one point sorry one point two double one zero eight right here and the safe zone of course is going to be right here at the peak of that resistance which i really doubt is going to happen so the stop loss or not that stop loss i mean the edge of the safe zone is going to be about 55 pips and in this scenario the target is going to be right here let me just make this as my target the previous resistance right here just to be realistic and hoping that before Wednesday we can actually send the new signal. So the target is going to be actually 106 pips, hopefully going to be good profit. So the target 1.20035, this is going to be our target from shorting the Euro USD. Uh, really hope it's going to work very well for us and will bring us lots of profits. Of course, I was talking in rush and I forgot to mention here again that Wednesday is going to be the most important day. And guys, please be careful because the market might go crazy that day. We don't know what will happen if there will be some riots action. If these people who are supporting Donald Trump is going to actually um, make chaos or riots. We are not sure what will going to happen. Wednesday is going to be very critical days for everyone, even for Forex traders. Mm -hmm. Um, it's gonna either uh, blow the currency <laughs> or actually help to rise the currency if everything went well so eventually please guys be very careful because this is really one of the hottest weeks for traders let's go now to the pound usd the pound usd as we can see actually has created right here a double top pattern as we can see right here and we are having right here that the strong bearish breakout happened right from that st support now the remarkable thing is keep eyes guys keep your eyes here guys uh, we had here a previous resistance which actually has never become a support later look at that the pair actually has never become a support and eventually there was here another bearish breakout candle and again the market retested that level and the resistance again kept its position then later on eventually that same level of the resistance has become another one attempt one single attempt of the support but the remarkable thing here is that the, the pair has or the level has only one single attempt of the support and when the market tried to make a, a, a second attempt so here was supposed to be a support number two the market has immediately made the breakout from that level indicates that this level is much stronger much much stronger as, as the resistance and therefore what we are seeing right now is we are seeing here we are having here a support remember guys i'm on the four hour time frame and right here we also have another attempt of support number two and if we see that the pair actually reversing on that support number two and making a pullback we can start shorting the pound usd right here exactly from that same level of the resistance and hopefully we are actually going to aim that support right here on 1.34645 that being said uh, the pound usd you know something let me just reduce this a little bit more just like that perfect uh, pound USD should be good for the short at the level 1.36163 and if we start shorting the pair right here we can actually look for this is the uh, level here where actually should be the safe uh, zone uh, area as you can see the pair actually we can make it a little, rise a little bit more just like that keep in mind that i'm selecting my safe zone to be inside the safe zone right here the uh, the, the resistance zone sorry and of course i'm relying also on that resistance right here so therefore the resistance resistance zone is ranging for 51 pips and let me just draw for you the shape of the uh, level just like that and if we started shorting the pair right here we actually gonna aim that support right here 
on 1.34985 meaning we're actually aiming 116 pips hopefully gonna be good profit so therefore take profit is gonna be 1.34935 hopefully it will work very well and will bring us lots of profits now for the AUD USD, we can see for the AUD USD that we also have here a double top pattern has appeared and seems like the pair is gonna be is now ready for the short. However, where we can start shorting the pair? Let's go now to the one hour time frame. Now on the one hour time frame, what we can see right here that we actually, we already had a retest of that broken support level. So we had here the support on one oh, sorry on zero point double seven two seven zero. And the pair has already retested that level on the uh, previous support level. Remarkable here is that the very same level of the support was actually also another strong key support level and it was also a resistance. Therefore, we can expect from the pair to rise just to retest that broken uh, level of the support and also that resistance on uh, 0 0.77385 must be retested again or revisited again and hopefully from that point we can start shorting the AUD UST. Therefore we have to wait for the pair to rise for another 35 pips before it's going to be valid for the short. So therefore AUD UST short at the level 0 0.77385 and the safe zone should be actually ranging just a little bit until that top of that resistance uh, so the safe zone actually should be a little bit higher just to be safe yes just to be more realistic uh, also so 51 pips which is really fair enough as uh, for the safe zone and if that happens we are actually aiming the previous support level right here at uh, 0 0.76424 so we are actually aiming from the AUD USD about 95 pips hopefully also will be in good profit so therefore the take profit level 0 0.76424 hopefully it will work very well and will bring us lots of profits USD CAD let's now look at the USD CAD the USD CAD actually right now is rising supported by the strength that the USD dollar index is actually gaining upon the news that Mr. Trump is finally leaving the White House and Mr. Joe Biden is going to be the new president. Of course, this is good for the currency. Therefore, I believe that USD CAD should be good for the buy. And of course, we are going to depend on that very strong key support level on 1.27067. That being said, right now on the four hour time frame, USD CAD is actually reversing right now from that resistance. It's actually just um, getting ready for retesting that support. And after that, hopefully is going to reverse and rise again and we can actually start buying the pair we have to wait for it to fall for another 30 pips before it's gonna be good for the buy therefore usd cat good for the buy at the level 1.27067 and yes i'm talking too fast because i don't want the video to be so long and i know guys you just want to see uh, the signal and the analysis and i'm just giving it to you so uh, the safe zone is ranging for almost 48 pips and this is the safe zone exactly like this and if in case we started buying the pair we are actually aiming the peak of that resistance and by the way i'm not looking here i'm not looking here because the for me this is a fake breakout i'm looking right here for that previous resistance and of course also looking at the peak of the resistance right here so we are actually aiming about 120 pips profit from this trade so therefore the profit is going to be 1.28270 Really, hopefully also, it will work very well for us and bring us lots of profits. Let's now check the USDGPY. USDGPY is unlike the other pairs, has been ranging at the same zone of the support right here. Let me just uh, go to the bigger time frame. As we can see, we're having right here a support zone and the pair is still ranging for the whole week inside this zone. So therefore, for the USDGPY, nothing has changed actually because the signal is, is still going to be for the buy however let's go to the one hour time frame to identify the levels to know exactly where we can start buying the pair now by looking at the left and i'm focusing right here guys on that previous key support level let me just increase this line a little bit more just like that so the reason for that is i want to align my resistance my support line to match up with that resistance right here because that seems like a very good level to start also buying the USDGPY and also 
if we draw right here a support a trend line like that we can expect right now from the USDGPY to reverse at that resistance just like this to fall here hit exactly that support trend line and right from that point it's gonna help the pair to continue the rise therefore uh, USDGPY should be good for the buy at the level 103.723 and of course the safe zone should be ranging just below that safe below that uh, support trend line because if the pair actually made the break out from that level it means it's going to continue the fall and uh, what's going to happen for example if this trade fails what will going to happen is like that if the pair reach this level i'm hoping that it's going to reverse and continue the rise but if the pair actually going to continue the fall we can expect from the pair to reverse right on that support level at 103.57 uh, uh, sorry 575 and making a pullback retesting that broken support trend line and if that happens if the retest fails the pair actually going to continue the fall so please accordingly uh, uh, open your trades and just be ready for any possible potential breakout happens here if you see the bearish breakout happens immediately close the trade with loss so therefore uh, this is the safe zone here um, rectangle and just like that this is the edge of the safe zone and of course if in the, if that happens uh since we are actually aiming more profit from this signal let me just set the take profit level to be right here the peak of that uh, resistance at uh, 104.396 so therefore the target is gonna be about 68 pips i mean that's really that's really low but it is what it is uh usdgpy is not really giving us the profits that we are seeking so therefore the profit level 104.396 and i think by wednesday hopefully on the midweek analysis video if this signal was profitable we can hopefully send a new signal by that time let's now look at the usdchf for the usdchf as we can see right here uh usdchf of course rising supported by the good news about uh, mr trump leaving the white house so hopefully guys uh, as we can see we're having right here a support a trend line and i believe that the pair under the pressure from the resistance on 0 0.89129 is actually gonna fall for one more time hitting that support trend line and then gonna continue the rise i believe it's gonna continue the rise until it hit that previous support level right here on 0 0.90245 that being said USDCHF uh, USD should be good for the buy right here from this level 0 0.889903 and the safe zone of course is going to be ranging right here until the next level of the support exactly right here so the safe zone should be actually a little bit lower than that yes perfect 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 almost 42 pips I would say which is really fair enough as a safe zone for the USDCHF so therefore just like that and in this case uh, the target is actually going to be right here the previous resistance exactly right here so we are aiming from the USDCHF about 116 pips of profit hopefully we will make them so take profit level 0 0.90071 hopefully it's going to be a very good signal and we will make good profits out of it let's now check the gold now for the gold i believe that the gold actually might fall for another another um almost 200 200 pips before it's going to be valid for the buy now the gold actually guys is very critical critical this time and of course again the reason for that is the potential riots action is going to happen on the day mr joe biden is going to be officially taking the position as the president we have to wait to see what will going to happen that day i believe it's going to affect the gold directly if something happened and we really hope nothing is going to happen and hopefully everything will run smoothly however uh, if i'm not mistaken the gold is actually getting ready to retest the 1808 levels and I believe that uh, because, of course, it's Fibonacci 61.8. And as we can see, it was previously a good resistance level. And the pair actually couldn't break out from that level of the resistance. We can see right here that we had here what seems like a fake breakout. And immediately the pair, right after the breakout, immediately again made another bullish breakout and uh, rose above that level of the resistance. Making the resistance zone right here. Exactly right. Let me just draw the line. Exactly right here exactly this one 
1817 a very strong level for the gold which we which we actually can rely on but however i really doubt after seeing this price action that the gold is gonna rise uh, immediately immediately so we can expect from the gold to fall for a few more pips just to hit the level 1800 actually 8 1808 and i would say there i'm just trying to align it is yes, perfect i think uh, buying the gold at the level 1808 is gonna be ideal and best level to start buying the pair so of course if that happens keep in mind guys that we're having right here a previous uh, support zone just like that and i believe that the pair actually gonna continue the fall just to hit that support trend line and then gonna continue the rise that being said gold should be hopefully good for the buy at the level 1808.32 and then the safe zone should be of course ranging just a little bit just until uh, the other end of that support which is i think is too much yes i forgot that we are actually working on the uh, daily candles let's go to the four hour time frame and of course the safe zone should be ranging just right there until the previous resistance level so the safe zone should be ranging for almost 170 pips which is really a lot guys i know that but however this is gold this is not uh, any other pair not currency not currency i mean and of course if that happens we actually should be aiming right here the resistance exactly right here that resistance right here on 1871 is gonna be our target so we are actually aiming about um 600 pips i think this is uh, a lot and let's just be more realistic and therefore we can expect from the pair to rise just right here to hit the top of that resistance level and i think that's actually better level to select the target because we are not sure what will gonna happen right after the pair hit that resistance level because if we go to the daily candle we can see that right here this previous resistance level was actually strong and we are having already a resistance number one so after hitting that support trend line the pair actually might rise a little bit just to hit that resistance trend line to create resistance number two then we are not sure what will gonna happen remember i'm on the daily candles now so i think by that time it's gonna be wednesday so again that's gonna be the most important day of the week so we are not sure how the gold is gonna react to that level however what we are hoping for right now is the reverse after hitting the support trend line and the target should be right here at the peak of the resistance and after that we can see what will gonna happen so the target right here uh, take profit level should be 1856.85 and of course let me just draw for you the safe zone now guys please i need to explain something here and it's really important and it's really annoying me when some actually followers here not actually or some um yeah some of the followers they are not following the instructions that i'm giving for example at the opening on monday maybe we will see right here a, a strong bearish breakout candle if you see that strong strong very strong bearish breakout candle appears then please don't buy the pair blindly just don't, don't just buy it blindly just because salah said that we can start buying from the level 1808 because we are, we have to be actually logic and make our trades should actually making make sense i mean if you see for example if you see the pair fall right here inside and then inside the safe zone it creates a pin bar just a strong pin bar just exactly at the level of the support right here on 1801 what you can do is actually you can start buying the pair right away what i'm t what i'm trying to say here is don't follow the signals blindly these signals are just my te technical analysis on the market situation and where exactly we can start uh, buying or selling but however it doesn't mean that you should follow it blindly also be careful these are my advices for you these are just my advices telling you that i am personally salah Sam. i advise you to start buying the gold right from that level it doesn't mean that if you see a strong bearish movement happen or there was some news that you should force yourself to buy the pair right from that level also please make 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 sure that your trades actually actually are logic and make sense and if there was any news appeared that might change this analysis then please don't follow the signal and just wait for me to release another video with the new signals so 
again guys it's gonna be a very critical and very important week we are expecting uh, a lot of actions to happen and i think this is gonna be one of the most important weeks for the forex traders so please uh, be safe and of course um, trade wisely in the end i hope that was informative to you and i would like to thank you for watching